One of our greatest challenges today is to distinguish between what I'm gonna call an Americanized Jesus and the Jesus of the New Testament. So we find, for example, that Jesus reframes the nature of reality for his 12 disciples uh, over and over again. For example, he says in one statement, what people value is highly detestable in God's sight. Now that word detestable is a pretty strong word to describe how God feels about the things that we tend to value. He knows that our understanding of his ways is not only too small and too shallow, but very often it's wrong-headed and it's upside down. So let me just contrast to you very simply the world's discipleship and Jesus' discipleship. And we see this actually throughout the whole New Testament. And the 12 disciples struggle with this. The world's discipleship says, be popular. Jesus' discipleship says, reject popularity and be popular with me. The world's discipleship says, be great. Jesus says, reject being great, but be great with me. The world's discipleship says, be successful. Jesus says, reject successism and be a success with me. So at the end of your life, you'll hear, well done, good and faithful servant. In fact, the world's discipleship says, avoid suffering and failure. And Jesus says, no, embrace the cross and the suffering and failure that comes with that. And your calling is to be faithful to me. The world's discipleship and Jesus' discipleship were on a collision course in his day. And we find him throughout his three years with the 12 disciples, inviting them to reject the religious culture of his day, which I'm gonna call the Americanized Jesus, and to follow him by rejecting the world's understanding of popularity, greatness, success, and what is the good life.